Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, we're going to be doing Valentine's Pocket File number 07. The cover. And I want to get all this stuff out of the way. This is from Dollar Tree. Stencil Will. Okay. Jot do-it-yourself projects. And we're going to be using the hot air balloon only. But here's some of the other stuff. There's a bus suitcase, words, camera, airplane, let's go. Okay, but we're only using the hot air balloon off of this. And I have clear stamps from Hampton Art, and we're gonna be using that hot air balloon only. And here's the other stamps in case you want to see them. Okay. Then we're going to be using these stamps from Fiskare. And again, we're only going to be using the hot air balloon. There's two of them, but there's the other stamps. And then I made one. I have a video on these if you want to know how to make them. I haven't decorated it or nothing yet. And we're going to be using Echo Park paper, 6x6 paper pad, Be My Valentine. And we're going to be using these papers because we're going to be inking black on them. So I figured these were light enough for black ink. Okay. And then I have these. These are from Walmart. I got them years and years ago. I don't even know if they sell them. They came in a packet and a booklet, a decorative booklet, and it flips open with two sides. That's where I got these. And we're going to be using that hot air balloon because I want hot air balloons everywhere. <laughs> and we're gonna be using that hot air balloon right there, okay? So let's get started. Oh, I have this stencil. This is from Inka Dinka Do. Inka Dinka Do. <laughs> okay. And I got it at I believe I got it at Joann's. It's not the destination, but the journey. So let's get that out of the way first. I'm gonna put it this way. I wanna make it look like two clouds, and I'm gonna try the red. And I have scrap paper, just in case. So we're gonna try this first. And I'm gonna do Archive ink, vermilion. And I wanna put some, I'm gonna put some festive berry on it too, just to get it inked up. And then let's do some inch mahogany. We'll make some words a different color. How's that? See how it prints and it prints awesome okay like I said I'm gonna to try to get two and make then I'm gonna cut them out and try to shape them like clouds okay I think it's easier to do it this way at the top and make the bottom look a different color for the other one. I'm doing it this way just in case. And there we go. And then let's do one with, let's try pink. And there we go. That would turn out better. So you can just print these down or you can do what I did the first time and you won't have this. Okay, I'm going to set this aside to dry. I'm going to put, I think I want this in the middle. Then I made this one and I know it looks better this way, but I wanted a pocket and I'm going to try to make a pocket out of this. I'm not sure. Let's 
gonna work, but we're gonna try beautiful bean. Okay, so let's, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we should glue the top and the bottom. And we'll see if it works. If not, then I'll just glue the whole thing down. And there's a line there, I didn't even notice that. There's a line right here. So now I gotta put something on that. All right, so that glue's right, you should be able to. I wonder if I set something on her so that lifts up. See how that's lifting up? Put that right in the middle. So that's gonna be there. So I'm gonna move this aside to dry. Then we're gonna start on our little air, hot air balloons. So let's get these stamped up. I have two here, two sides. I think that's too dark. Cause like I said, I'm gonna use black ink and I don't think I'll show up. Probably get the shape, but I don't know. But we got two sides for this one. So let's begin. So let's get all his ink up nicely. the mix the black and the yeah I like the mixed colors what do you think I like the mixed colors I do let's try one in pink and black yes I like I like beautiful things what's on the other side stripes I don't really want a striped one <laughs> all right we'll put these aside this one. It's weird because some of the hearts are upside down and some of them aren't. Weird pattern. Weird pattern. See, these ones are upside down and these ones aren't. But I guess you're supposed to cut these out somehow. I don't know, but we're doing it anyway. stamped hearts under hearts okay all right we're done with that big stamp let's move on to this stamp and that's what that one looks like it's gonna be harder to cut out I think, I think, I think. Might have to make a basket on that one. All right, let's try it on this print. All right, here's the difference. Pushing it down and rubbing it. I guess there's not much of a difference, but that balloon shows up way better on the pink. So I'm betting it'll show up really good on here. So let's do one on here. That looks nice. That looks really nice. Okay, now let's move on to this one. Get our basket, beautiful beings. Here, let me see if I can fix this. No, there's 
not even an ink there. I'm sorry, I can take a gel pen or something. I really like that, that's cute too. That's cute too, beautiful beings. There we got our basket and we got a heart in it. Okay. There's more black on that mahogany. Let's get a different color, so we'll do this. And the vermilion. Just to hold that down, because that seems to take to the stamp better. There we go. So we should have enough balloons. Beautiful beans. Now I'm going to cut them out. And I'll do that off camera so you don't have to, so I don't have to fast forward and you don't have to watch. <laughs> okay, beautiful beans. Here's all of our hot air balloons. I went around them with a pen mark and a marker. Let's see that white? I just have to cover up the white. So I just went like that with pink and red around all of them. Now, see the cloud? I'm gonna attempt to cut out another cloud. Just swerving back and forth, in and out to make a cloud, okay? That's it. Nothing fancy about it. There, we got two clouds. Now, these are fairly glued down. That works, beautiful beings. Okay. Whoop. I don't want to push up. We're, you got to push it all the way up. And there's glue up there. But it works. Okay, I just didn't want to get glue on this. And you can put down here, and you put a bigger picture in there. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, and then this one is a big one, right? But we have to place our cloud, which I think is going to be here. I kind of want two clouds now. If I could make a pocket out of one of these, I'd do it. <laughs> like right here. Put one there. I think I could. Is that the biggest one? Yeah, that's the biggest one. I'd love to make another pocket. Just a little one. I have one here. Like if I just glue that there. That would work, but I don't know if I'd rip. All right. So let's get the, I'm not gonna be able to fit any more big ones, I don't think, and I like that one. But I just, I do, I want a bunch of them. This one's smaller. Maybe if we move that one down. There. We could put some behind. Maybe, I don't know. They're all small, beautiful beings. And put that one there. That kind of blends in too much. I want that one. Put that one there. I want a different colored one. Put that one here. And remember, I have these ones that I got a stencil in. That one, that little one, and that little one. I need to get a die cut set of these, that'd be awesome.
All right, beautiful beings. I screwed that up right there because I was thinking about something else and I didn't remember I want this. So I don't know how I'm going to hide that. But besides that, I think it looks awesome. I'm going to wait for them to dry because we have to put these little ones in there, here and there. Might be tricky, but I'm gonna do those with gel pen. Okay, I'm only gonna need like two. I like one right here behind that, like off in a distance. So we have two little ones that we can put here and there. All right, so when this is dry, I will be back. Okay, beautiful beings, I almost forgot about these. I almost forgot about this stencil almost right I'm gonna take a gel pen and then just piece it in there and then cut around it and hopefully it turns out good don't know how good this is gonna turn out but we'll find out so it looks like It turns out. <laughs> That's all I got to say. This one. That one, I'm gonna have to wait for these dryer. They'll smear. They will smear beautiful beings. The gel pen will. Let's do a different color on that. Try a glittery gel pen, maybe. Come on, work for me. Come on. There we go. I know not many are gonna fit, so I'm just doing three. And there's that one. But I'm gonna have to let them all dry. And when they dry, I'll be back. Okay, beautiful things. I'm gonna ink this and see what it looks like. Okay. And that's what that looks like. All right, and there's that one. Okay, I think they look better inked. What do you think, beautiful bands? it gives it more dimension I think so I think I'm gonna ink them all okay. inked not inked around the edges and I think I'm gonna do red I'm gonna ink that in there with red and maybe this one I'm doing both in red I'm doing them all in red okay I'll be back Okay, I think these turned out well. Here they are. I'm just putting two on there. Okay. And I tried to, I put little tiny hearts there. All right, this one's going right there. Like that. And then I want to put this one over here. I want it right there on the edge like that and where I smeared the paint or the glue putting it in <laughs> I drew little hearts and put some right there and put some ink over it 
because it had white parts where I was trying to get it off, but it ripped a little bit. So let's try, yeah, let's do black. Let's put some black in here, I guess. I'm gonna put a little color in there. Just make different balloons, beautiful beings. See what it looks like. Not too shabby. I think we should just do other colors besides that though. I want one over here. There we go. And that one. Oh, can you see it? <laughs> and then we have one more. Just a little tiny gold one. And this is the silver one over here. pretty much done. I don't want to overdo it. Kind of seems like we need one down here. I had to move everything because I got company coming over for dinner. But I have this one. So let's see how this is. That fits in there better. Fits in there better, beautiful beings. I'm just trying to get it darker. There, and there's a little glitter in there that was left on the st stencil. <laughs> All right, see? All right, this is pretty much done. Beautiful wings. That's not glued down as much as I like. There. Then this line. I think all I'm gonna do is take my glitter pen and go along that. Can you see that line? That's all I'm gonna do. because they want it to look good with something on it. For the blooms. Hey, beautiful beings. I forgot to show you these. <laughs> I didn't cut these out in a shape or anything. I'm going to wait until I actually use them. This one I did. I was going to put it on this one, but I decided on the silver one. I'm going to wait to cut them out. Like I said, so I'm going to use them. Okay. And this is from the video, how to make hot air balloons. Okay. And 
now back to this to show you. You can put really nice long ones in. This one. It doesn't matter if it sticks up out of the top. Put wide ones in. I'm just showing you everything that can fit. All kinds of stuff. And many, many, many things. And over here, it's not just for little ones. Put different size things in here. Or just a little one. In here or here. Notes, pictures, whatever. Even Valentine cards. Hey beautiful beings. Now I gotta do the other side. And I think we're done with Valentine's. Until next year. Okay, let's give you a close up. It's not the destination, but the journey. And I still need to put something right there or there, but for now I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it the way it is. Hey, beautiful beings. Have a wonderful everything. <laughs>